Hello, I am Torior and welcome to my newest series of Europa Universalis 4 with the Mare Nostrum expansion. And today we're going to um, do the Kushit, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm not sure, Kushit Restoration uh, achievement, which requires us to, as a Nubian nation, own the entire Egyptian region. Now, um, normally the Nubian region are Makuria, uh, Nubian nations are Makuria and Elodia. And off of those two, I'd, I'd probably choose Elodia and just conquer the area after expanding it to my neighbors. However, this achievement can be done, I believe it can be, uh, done much um, in a much easier way. Because it doesn't say you have to start as a Nubian nation, it says you have to be a Nubian nation. And that makes all of the difference, because we're going to do that as the Mamluks. And it's going to be a very quick achievement run. Now, I might do a proper one as Elodia or Makuria later on, but I just want to show you the quick and easy way. Let's just call it Restoration. So, I'll explain more once we see uh, the culture map mode. Because you are, I'm sure you are aware that you can actually change the culture of your country if the culture that you want to change to is, um, well, you have your capital in the province of that culture, and it is the dominant culture in your empire. So, Nubian culture is here, but we already do have two provinces. However, our dominant culture is Egyptian. Now, we're going to change that by conquering this area first, and then we'll do some other stuff. Um, but I can spoil, spoil the whole run right away, can I? Okay, so the starting moves as the Mamluks. As this is a short achievement run, we don't have to worry that much about the Ottomans. They will probably be busy conquering Byzantium and their cores while we do all of that. Now, um, let's see. Uh, there are a couple of new features, and this is my first time playing Mare Nostrum, so I uh, will be exploring them while this is happening. For example, corruption. If I understand correctly, you can um, fight corruption with money. And if you mm, slide this to the maximum, it will just root all of it out and keep it down, ta only taking as much money as it needs to. Mm, also, we can't fabricate claims anymore. Uh, we have to first build a spy network before we can fabricate claims. And there's a lot of other stuff we can do with spies. We can, for example, steal maps, which will be quite interesting. Okay. Mm. So, oh, also... It won't show us the achievement, will it? Kushit Restoration. Uh, no, it doesn't show it to us, but once we change our culture, it should. So, mm, I will start by improving relations with Fezan, because I do want to vassalize them peacefully. That will give us a little bit more uh, power in the region. They're, they're weak, but it'll let us expand and stop Tunis, who is a potential rival of ours. So, as my first move, I'll send... Uh, diplomat to improve relations with them. Now we do want to invade Makuria and Elodia, and we do need claims for that. Can we get missions to get claims? Uh, Kasr Ibrim. Yes, we can. Perfect. So we get a free claim for Makuria from that mission, and I will start getting a claim for Elodia, and for that we need to build a spy network. Let's use our um, third diplomat for that. Uh, well, second, but the third will be needed to declare war. And since we're going to do that very soon, I'm not even going to lower maintenance. I will just march my troops down here. I do hope they don't ally each other in the meantime. Oh, and we can adopt the title of Khalifa. Let's do that. Free prestige. Oh, also we can form Egypt or Arabia, which would be very cool. But we won't get that far, I think. Okay, advisors. I will take a... How much money do we have? Yeah, I'll take level 1 advisors. All the way. Ooh, discipline, perfect. And focus on admin power. Now, our sultan is crap. But we should be fine anyway. And we are very pious, which means we have a lot of morale of armies. That will be helpful, even though our enemies will be... Well, they will certainly be weaker than us, but they can get some allies and get problematic. Okay, sailors. Yeah, we need that for ships, but it's not our main concern right now. I think my, mm, one of my next achievement runs might be 
uh, the Venetian Sea. So then we will have a lot to worry about when it comes to ships. Mm, for now, let's just um, let's just protect trade in Alexandria. Oh, you can't protect trade anymore. Wait a minute. Barks, upgrade ships. I don't. I didn't read the patch notes very carefully. Mission settings. Select mission. Okay, protect trade. Perfect. Do that in Alexandria. Uh, what are my merchants doing anyway? Uh, transferring trade from here. Perfect. From Aleppo, and transferring trade from the Gulf of Aden. That is exactly what I would do. So nothing to worry about here, and we need to set up rivals. Oh, seriously, Lithuania rivaled me. How did that happen? They're like a world away. Weird. Oh, do we have any potential allies? Maybe Karakuyunda would like to ally us. No, they're hostile. Timurids hate us. Hejaz, maybe. Oh, I'm looking at vassalization at the Alliance. Hejaz might ally us, and that could be beneficial, and so could Yemen. And Nash. They are weak. Um... They will not accept vassalization. However, they can be useful just in case. Now, it's a pity that Karakuin hates us. I will have to rival the Ottomans, I think. That might get us some friends. Probably not Austria, though. Let me see. If we... Oh, yeah, we can offer Condottieri. That's the new feature. Uh, when you can basically rent your armies when nothing is happening. But a lot will be happening, so that is not something we want to do right away. Mm, okay, let's just set up uh, the Ottomans. And, oh, Castile. This is um, religion, Mamluks. How about Tunis? Oh, yes, Tunis likes us. That's perfect. Mm, let's ally Tunis. And then I think we'll ally Hejaz. Did I march my armies already? Yes, I did. Uh, we could use a general, at least one. My sultan is so bad that I'm actually making him a general. If he dies, we'll just get a random noble, which will surely be better. Also, let's get a normal general. Right, if he dies, what happens? Uh, that's not my country. Um, Mamluk and noble succeed to the throne. He will surely be better than one, two, three. I just hope we don't get a regency, but if we get an heir, I'll just uh, dismiss him as a general. Okay. Let's get into it. First time playing Mare Nostrum. Now, we do have to wait a month before we can declare war. Let's increase the speed. Mm, I should probably mothball this fleet. Yeah, let's do that. So it doesn't drain money. Also, I will not need those forts up right now. Because we're going to be fully on the offensive. Actually, I'm not going to need that fort at all. I'm going to demolish it. I know Damascus is an important province, but uh, if we get attacked, the armies will do all the work, not the force. And we do have one near the Ottomans. Okay. Can declare war be before the 11th of December. Sure. Sure. All right, uh, Tunis, my new ally. Who do you hate? You hate Portugal. Hmm, that's not going to help me a lot. How about you? I could use some more allies, really. Oh, if I rival Portugal, maybe I could get Morocco to like me. But then I would be called to wars against them. Let, let's just leave the allies uh, for now. I will ally Hejaz, though, because they could be helpful. Slightly, but it's always something. 7,000 troops only, but it's better than nothing. Okay, and now we can declare war. Let's just wait for our... Oh, yeah, the Ottomans are threatening our trade. Yes, yeah, so just I will accept a royal marriage with you. Let's wait for our armies to be in position, and we can declare war on Mercuria. Okay. That is going pretty fast. Now, how much do I need to actually fabricate the claim? Ten. Spy network strength. Yeah, we build the spy network and it will let us do all those spy things. That's actually pretty good. I am I am happy the spy actions are now more interesting than they were before. Should probably go to speed three just to make it faster. 
Also, I do want to get as friendly um, as possible with Fazan as quickly as possible. However, I will... Um, Oh, I can't ally them while I'm at war. Doesn't matter, this war is going to be very short. I could get a royal marriage just so I don't forget later. I know the relations improve faster when they're closer to zero, so I'm actually slowing this down, but I'm afraid I will forget the royal marriage soon. Okay, um, do we have forts? We have one fort. Okay, so this is going to be very easy and quick. Let's just take those armies. Those infantry armies. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And send them to occupy everything. Now you will detach one as well. Attack them, and here you will have some reinforcements that will later move down to Bayuda, where they will probably retreat. As you can see, we will start sieging all the provinces immediately, thus making this war very, very quick. Oh, Tunis wants a royal marriage. Sure, let's be friends. They're trying to run away, but, but that, mm, that symbol lets us know they won't run away. Oh, did we wipe them? We did. Well, that's going to be very fast then. Does any of you have siege value? Yes, the king. Okay, cool. Now we wait. I'll increase the speed to four. And we do have a free diplomat right now. I should do something with him. Oh, also, what I should do is cancel the fort maintenance because it automatically went up when we declared war. That is a very useful feature, but sometimes if you forget it, it can become problematic. Mm, oh, Jared will actually accept uh, vassalization once we have Fazan, because then the distance between borders will go away. So let's improve relations with them as well. And let's hope that Tunis doesn't steal them from us. I went with admin focus because we will need all the points we can get to core those provinces quickly. I do hope we'll get a mission to conquer Be Beja, Beja, Beja soon. Then we won't have to wait for the claim. Alright, speed 4, how long will it take? Well, it, 6 progress, so... Oh, it's only a 1000 man garrison. So they don't even have a castle here me the province. Okay, and it's done. Uh, I don't have a diplomat right now. Let's get the one from Jerid. I think that's how it's pronounced. You here, you here. Get ready to attack Elodia. Okay, and we do have enough spy power to actually do that. Unconditionally surrender to them, giving them two months to send us a peace offer. That's a neat little feature. You can just... Uh, yeah, you can just make them peace out while giving up 100% war score. This is obviously not what we want to do. And we do want to just offer them a peace deal, so this option. And we do want full annexation and all the money. Those are very poor provinces, so we want to get overextended. Not too much, at least. Alright, perfect. Now, let's increase autonomy everywhere, because we don't want to be dealing with any rebellions. And let's start coring. Uh, we don't have war exhaustion. Yeah, we even had enough points to core everything. Now, the mission has been completed. Conquer Shandy. Perfect. We don't need the spy network anymore. So I'm going to recall the spy network guy for now. He won't be necessary since we're going to conquer this land. Mm. Oh! Poland, that's the second time I see that in the recent uh, my recent gaming. Poland has refused to get a personal union over Lithuania, which almost never happens. And yet, in our multiplayer game when I'm Livonian Order, that happens as well. Interesting. Maybe they adjusted the chances of that happening? I don't know. Uh, nevertheless, it's time to conquer Elodia now. Just like that. You should merge. Actually, I'll go to Shandy. Yeah, they have a couple more provinces. That should be as easy as the previous war. 
And now, did I wipe your armies? Yes, I did. So let's just... Um, you have forts? You do have one fort. So we're going to send the king to that one fort. And you guys will siege the rest of the country. Seven armies. One, two, three, four, five, six provinces. Apart from the capital. Alright. Here we go. And let us also improve relations with Jared further, so that we can actually get them to become our vassal. And then to Groot and then Mzab, if we can do that. Although that would be going over the relations limit, and we really wouldn't want to do that. Wait a minute, we have four relations? Shouldn't we have three? Let me see that. Mm, Fezant, Yunus, Hejaz and Cyprus. Oh right, we're going to be in Cyprus, I forgot about that. Karaman and Ramazan are fighting, it doesn't concern us, and the Ottomans are conquering Albania. Well, we can conquer much faster than they can. Actually, the Mamluks are a very, very good country to play. You can just roll over all of that and then start westernizing or move out from Africa. Uh, right, our occupation is almost complete. Although that province will probably take some time. Uh, free diplomat, I could send him over here. Oh no, they're fighting Mzab. Let's leave that alone, maybe. Who's the attacker? Fighting to Groot, fighting Mzab. I think to Groot will win. Ah, I'll improve relations anyway. And Kirkunu is conquering Georgia, which is normal for them. They will probably vassalize them. Now it doesn't really concern us. Okay, so but I'll, I should probably give this P to five for that. Should I? Yes, let's. All my diplomats are busy, or all my armies are busy. Oh, wait, I forgot. Did they add an option to multiple an army? No, they didn't. Hmm. That's a pity. I hoped for that option. And we're currently losing money. Why? Oh, right. Army maintenance. We're taking attrition over here. We don't need all those troops. The king can do it on his own. Uh, nobles demand increase to pension. Sure, I'm, I don't want to lose stability. Also, the loyalty of the nobles, which is Amir's here, will be quite useful. Oh, Dimi is the Christians in our country. Mm, and actually the increased uh, increased loyalty decreased our maintenance modifier, which is good. Actually, I still have too many troops here. And, wait a minute, give me a second. Rigorous research. Academic institutions are not immune to corruption. Perfect. And we have completed our sieges. Now I will need a diplomat. Send him to Elodia. Yeah, not unconditional surrender. Just make sure to not click that by mistake. All the land and all the money. And now, mm, let me show you. We own all the non-colonized Nubian provinces. And I believe there's 15 of them. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, now the trick begins. Is that Fazan wants an alliance? Sure, Fazan. I do want an alliance with you. Also, I do want to reduce army maintenance to the minimum. And our expenses of on rooting out corruption are extremely high. I forgot to um, turn off the forts earlier, but it doesn't matter. And now we're almost done with the achievement, believe it or not. Now we're going to make sure to vassalize Fazan quickly. So we're going to... Wait a minute, what's that? Send warning. No. We're going to proclaim a guarantee on them. That will increase our relations. Should go down to speed 4. Mm. Oh, we're not going to burn any books. Piety or no piety. No. That's barbaric. 
like most religion, but no, not all of them. And we do need to increase autonomy in all the newly conquered provinces and start calling them. I can't believe... Uh, oh, why didn't I start it right after taking them? Must have forgotten, doesn't matter. Okay, let's start calling them. And we do have enough points to do all. Now, there could be some rebellion threats, but we should be fine. Okay, you. I could send you a gift now. Oh, let's give the military access instead. There yeah, will be almost ready to accept vassalization. We have a royal marriage. We have an alliance. Okay. Anything else? Request to share maps. Can't do that. We can ask them to trade to transfer trade power. That will speed this annexation, this vassalization, up by one month. So let's do that. And now offer a vassalization. Here we go. Okay. Now we can try to vassalize Jerid as well. That would put us over our diplomatic relations limit. But uh, do I really care? I don't think so. I could get another vassal for free. Okay, no mission selected. Protect against the Ottomans, improve relations with Karaman, protecting... Hmm, Karaman, you love me. And you would ally me, but when the Ottomans attack you, I don't really want to fight the Ottomans in this achievement run, because it's almost over. And I'm about to show you the twist in the next episode. So, well, we do have the land, but it's, it's not enough. We're in the wrong culture, and we can't change the culture, because we have too much land. And we can't give up land, because we do need to own all of Egypt. Well, there's ways around that. Okay, I'll see you in the next and probably last episode, because we've done most of the work already. So yeah, I hope you liked it. And if you did, remember to click the like button and subscribe to the channel.